How's it going there, YouTubers? Uh, warning you up front, this isn't going to be much of a video. I kind of doubt uh, many people will ever see this anyways, but I'm basically making this for uh, for Cranky Preppers to show off the uh, the tobacco plants here. And these things are actually doing pretty good. I was worried about them for a while. Um, I'm terrible when it comes to growing stuff. Um, and you know, it took, uh, it took longer than I was expecting for the seeds to germinate, which I guess was just me being a little impatient. And as you can see on some of them, I had some mold in there. And uh, when they finally started to pop, you know, a couple of them went, and it was a while before I saw the others. And I was just pretty worried about them for a while. I didn't think it was going to amount to much, but yeah, I guess uh, guess I was just worrying for nothing. They're actually they're doing great. Um, Except for, uh, I got four varieties here. Uh, got the, the Connecticut there, which is not doing very well. In fact, there's one little bitty seed out of all those. But we got the Connecticut, the Virginia, Havana, and Little Dutch. And uh, except for the Connecticut, uh, they're all doing pretty good. Um, really better than I would uh, would expect based on my past experience with trying to start seeds. Uh, I put about, tried to get three seeds in each one, thinking that probably, you know, at least one out of three probably ought to go, and most of them have uh, at least one. Most of them actually probably, a lot of them have more than one. This one here, I gotta, where is it? Hard finding stuff with this viewfinder thing, but uh, yeah, there's the one I'm looking for. There. There's a whole bunch of them in there. I'll pop probably about five seeds. I'm gonna try to separate some of these ones with clumps in them. Try to separate them. If I can't separate them, I guess I'll just I don't know, pinch off the smaller ones or something so they don't choke each other out. Uh, and I'll definitely try again with some more of the Connecticut ones. Kind of ironic considering that uh, growing these in Connecticut. But I don't know. Uh, these were, I kind of planted them. What did I do? Well, whatever order I went in. The Connecticut ones were the first ones I did anyway, so maybe it was something that I did the first seeds or. I don't know. I suppose it's possible it might have been a bad batch of seeds, but I don't know. I'm more inclined to think it's something I did, or maybe it's just the variety of seeds needs something different from the other ones but I definitely have enough seeds to, uh, to try uh, I don't know, at least several more batches of Connecticut I know I could at least do another whole whole batch of this size of all of them um, and I don't know what kind of mortality rate I can expect out of these but if even most of these go I'll probably still have my uh, my hands full with tobacco plants this summer um, so, I wanted to show you those a little bit, you know, they they went better than I really thought they were a while ago there, the last time I talked to you about them, but uh, yeah, they're doing pretty good. The mold is uh, is actually subsiding, and, and actually some of the moldy ones that I thought were just dead and rotten are actually uh, still germinating. And actually, who knows, it wouldn't really surprise me at this point if, if the Connecticut ones are just slower than the others and they still uh, pop. You know, I do have one there. There's some moldy seeds in there, but I've seen some moldy ones sprout already. Uh, so I guess that's it. This is my window greenhouse contraption. Um, I've been taking the, uh, the greenhouse lid thing off of it when it's uh, sunny and warm out, which has helped with the mold. Um, but that just goes on top there. This is like the deluxe model thing made by Burpee. It's got, you know, here, thingamajigs there. And this, uh, there's down inside of there, there's like a holder that this sits on, and there's a mat that drapes over the top of it, and the ends are down in the bottom there, and there's water in the bottom. Um, and, uh, if you fill it like up to the the level of the bottom of the mat it'll supposedly go 10 days without needing to be watered and you know I don't know it's uh it's not exactly a problem for me to to check on the plants uh, more than every 10 days but 
it is kind of handy at least to uh, keep the moisture level consistent. Um, I've had a lot of seeds uh, or little plants die on me because I had them outside and you know got to them a little bit too late to water them and they had dried out and died. Uh, then also I've over watered them so that just kind of keeps it at a consistent moisture level. I don't really even put very much water in it at a time, just enough to keep that mat wet. Uh, but that seems to work pretty good. Came with a little warning about this thing for, for anybody who happens to see this. It comes with like little hard little compressed uh, dirt pellets, uh, which I think is maybe definitely like a lot of peat moss or something in there. And they're like small little very dense pellets in the bottom of all these little things and you put water in them and they expand. Uh, and I learned the hard way that it's very important to to make sure that uh, they're in there right they're kind of like little round uh, disc shaped things and you want to make sure that they are in there uh, flat uh, because they expand mainly up and down and if they're in there sideways they will expand sideways and uh, won't be able to expand fully and get wedged in there really tight uh, and if about half of them ended up like that and it was a huge pain in the ass to uh, to pry them all out trying to do so without damaging this thing which is pretty light and flimsy and crumble them all up and get them in there uh, probably should have put something about that on the directions but just a little uh, little warning about that uh, actually very easy and handy provided that uh, the pellets are in there correctly but, oh well, I guess that's, uh, that's all I've got for this video. All my little planties doing quite well, seems like. I'll talk to you later.